We, oh, there, all right, our connection is okay. I thought we lost our connection. This is our second time recording this. Thanks for bearing with me on there. Uh, everyone stay at noon, I come to you live on Facebook Live to answer your parenting questions. Let's jump into today's question. Uh, I have a question about walking the line between friends and parent. I've been divorced from my ex-husband for three years and my only daughter is 16. Her father and I have a civil relationship and I make sure not to speak ill of him or his new girlfriend in front of her. In the last year or so, however, I've begun dating, which hasn't been going great. And I've had some drama with friends who I have in common with my ex from our marriage. I find more and more that I'm confiding my feelings in my daughter more than anyone else. I've heard people say that it's not good for your kid or you to have a relationship that's too buddy-buddy. Uh, what I wanna know is, what kinds of personal adult things can I tell my daughter and where should I draw the line? Thank you for your question. I think it's a very interesting question. I think it's a very nuanced question. I think what you want to consider is, first, I think it's great that you and your daughter have this close relationship. And I encourage you to keep nurturing that and create a sense of openness and transparency and honesty. I think that's wonderful because it helps model for your daughter that she can be honest with you. However, we want to make sure that we're not leaning on her for support. She's 16, no matter how mature she is, no matter how emotionally intelligent she is, no matter what kind of old soul she is, at 16, she is not qualified to be responsible for your feelings. And she could interpret that as, she now needs to take care of you. Now, if she was 36, pull a ball of wax, dump on your daughter, no problem. But at 16, not so much. Now, hopefully you have other people in your life that you can confide in your other friends, family members, your therapist, what have you. Um, make sure that you are doing your own self-care. If you're going to be open and honest with your daughter, which is okay, I think it's be okay to be open about your feelings, sadness, fear, anger. These are normal human emotions and you modeling how to express these feelings in a healthy way is spot on and fantastic. Where the line gets drawn is when your daughter now feels like it's her responsibility to take care of you. That you are leaning on her so you can feel better. She's not qualified for that. She just can't. She, and what will happen is she will internalize that and she will push away her feelings and now feel like her happiness is depending on how you, your happiness. And if you're not happy, she's now letting you down and she is now a bad person. And that's a vicious spiral and you don't wanna go down that road. What you can do if you are sharing your sadness, for example, let's say you how you're saying you were dating, it's not going well. Let's say you got your heart broken from a dating situation. We've all been there. It stinks. It's crummy. And you're venting and talking about those feelings with your daughter. Are you also modeling your self-care? Are you also modeling your resilience? What you are doing to take care of yourself? How you are leaning on your friends, your therapist, how you are push putting yourself back into your own sense of creativity or exercise or work or whatever helps fulfill your needs as a human being and you're communicating how you are fulfilling those needs. So it's really more of you just sharing, hey, I'm in this crummy place, but this is what I'm doing to help myself. So it's no longer your dad your daughter's responsibility to take care of you. It's just she's understanding your process. You're modeling for her resilience. That's what's key. Because then she can do the same to you. When she's in a bad dating situation, or let's say she's getting cyberbullied, or let's say she starts experimenting with drugs and she doesn't know what, to, what she wants to do, she's uncertain, she can open up and talk to you, and then you guys can have a, a conversation about her own self-care and her own resiliency, which I think is a, definitely a step in the positive direction. But if you're dumping on her and you're leaning on her for your self-care, I think that's where it crosses the line. I love this question. I think it's really important. Uh, it's nuanced. Every family is going to have a, a different line where that's going to be. But again, if it gets to the point where you're leaning on your daughter, that's too much. Uh, thank you for your question. If you have a question you'd like me to answer, you can email us at tipsonteens at teentherapycenter.com. One more thing, November 11th, the parent workshops are back. We've been off for a few years in doing it, but we're going to get back to it. It's going to be over Zoom, open to the first 10 parents who, who register. We haven't updated the website yet, but it will be updated soon for that. But it's basically, it's uh, you bring your questions, you leave with answers. And uh, again, the first 10 parents who show up, you come in, you bring up your questions. The whole focus is going to be in quarantine, 
teen is a teenager. A little play on words there. Kind of fun. Um, anyways, stay tuned to your email, your Facebook, your Twitter, your Instagram. We'll be promoting it over there for the next week or so and getting that going. Um, again, my name is Kent Toussaint, licensed marriage and family therapist with Teen Therapy Center and Child and Teen Counseling. And we will see you next Wednesday at noon on Facebook Live. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.